2005, um, I was playing sport and I broke my neck. I was completely paralysed, nine hour surgery, three day coma. I was in hospital for five months. Eight months after being discharged, and I had a flashback of the impact of the injury when I broke my neck. So I went to the doctors um, and he diagnosed me with PTSD. I was on this down, significant downward spiral. And then at, at that point I started to realise it was a problem. Um, I got to that stage where drinking was a lot more than social. I still didn't relate to being an addict. And I think with men as well, it's, it's even more challenging because you have this bravado and talking about mental health, it can be a sign of weakness. And there's still that, I guess, reluctance to discuss it. When I realised that I finally needed to do something about it, I went to a talking therapy group for a local provider. It was the best thing I ever did. To be able to sit in a room with people that are anonymous to me, tell them about having a disability that I'd never really spoken about. The big four or five things that I focus on are sleep, good food, optimal hydration, good physical activity, and mindfulness. And they have set me up on this journey to be resilient, to be able to talk about it, to be able to share with others. If I can share my story with other people and they can help someone along their way as part of that, then that is hugely, hugely gratifying for me and something that is really fulfilling.